everybody. Well, here I am outside. I hope you can hear me and see me okay. I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi at home because I'm at my new house. So I want to give you a little bit of a view of what's going on here. Um, you are tuned in to the Seven Summer Steps. Seven Summer Steps. There's seven things you should do this summer to make sure that you have a super productive academic year. And today is Thursday, we're on step number five. But before we get to step number five, I'm gonna show you the view from here. We're on spring break, there's my son. Wave, Guillermo. I'm, I'm, on, I'm live on Facebook. Um, and this is the view. We're in Puerto Rico, that is the Añasco Valley. And you might be able to see over there, there it is, that's the Caribbean looking out towards Desecheo, which if I walked over there you could see better. And yep, Dominican Republic over there somewhere too. So this is our house. There it is, our new house. We're moving in. Um, this, I'm showing you this so you can see what we're up to, but also so you can see that um, this is where the writing retreat is going to take place in January. Um, so right now, my, my husband keeps saying, it's a farm, but this is what it mostly has is pasture grasses. All the green grass that you see is pasture grass. And there's a lot of dirt that's going to be planted by the time um, people who are coming to the retreat get here. But I just wanted to give you that's a 360 degree view. And there's a really awesome view from that upper terrace up there. Uh, so that's it. Okay, so let's get to step number five of the seven summer steps. So we had two steps that were um, that were kind of about productivity, and one was about email, and what was the other one about? One was about email, and the other one was about quitting one thing. That was the first one. And then we were in a little stretch of three um, kind of mindset steps, and we talked about um, making a plan yesterday and the day before that. I talked about, um, let's see, what was the day before that? I can't remember right now, but it'll come to me later. Anyway, today, step number five, step number five, this is day five of seven summer steps, is, and I just, it went right from my brain. Today is day number five, and today's step is ah, accountability. It's accountability. So today, it's a perfect day for accountability to be today's step because today, our group, this little I should be writing group, reached 100 members. So this is the perfect spot to start talking about accountability in your writing and finding somebody who could be an accountability partner with you or just using the group itself for accountability. Um, so what do I mean by that? What I mean is there's so many moving parts to writing. There's actually getting the writing done. There's scheduling it. There's our anxiety and fears about what we're writing isn't good enough. Um, there's also like our wins and successes when something gets published. There's the kind of emotional roller coaster of the review process. There's so many pieces of the academic writing process that could really use um, a group like this to, to be accountable to, um, where we can share our um, happy wins at the same time as we share um, any anxieties and fears and help that we, that we need to ask for. So um, I encourage, really, um, if you have been following my stuff, I encourage a plan of writing that is small steps every day or like some amount of writing every day. And then also occasionally a writing retreat. And we do virtual ones, mini ones, and we're going to have this in-person retreat right here on the farm in January 2018. So if you want more about that, you can comment below and I'll send you a link. So the bottom line is here is a great place to check in with your colleagues in a supportive way and say, hey, I did this today, or hey, this wasn't my day, or is anybody else feeling like this? Because that accountability and sharing can really help break down the walls of isolation uh, that are kind of part of academia. I was talking to one of our group members the other day, and... We were kind of talking about this uh, stereotypical idea of a professor, and that professor is male, he has frizzy hair, 
he's wearing a tweed jacket that has elbow patches and sitting, uh, working late in his office because somebody else is taking care of his children and his wife is editing his books without getting credit for it. And you know, like that's like this image that we have. And if you're not like literally burning the midnight oil, you're not really doing academia, right? Well, we all know that that's not true and that's not real for us. So what we need to do now is talk to each other about how academic writing really happens really now and with women and in the professional situation that we're in right now. So I encourage you to, with step number five, start this summer to find somebody to be accountable to. You can find a local person, you can post in this group, and we'll, we can hook up together. Um, and that kind of accountability can be something that during the semesters when things, things are getting rough and your writing is slipping to the bottom of the list, that you can, um, that will help you to keep going. So that's step number five. Um, tomorrow, either this afternoon or tomorrow, I will have for you the handout. And I'll be posting the link in the group. And the handout's listing all seven of the seven summer steps. If you'd like to tweet about the steps, if anything that I've said in the last five days has sparked something in you that you want to share on Twitter, share it with hashtag seven summer steps. And I hope that you're having a great day.